Hi to everyone and welcome. If you want to run your own business in Shopify, definitely this video can be handy for you because in this video I want to provide you with all information that you need to start your own business in Shopify. Uh, I want to make this video as short as possible, not to waste your time because I saw all those videos in the internet like one hour long or three hour long or a lot of people selling courses of how to start your own business in Shopify. We're not about that. Uh, I just want to show you and highlight to you all the things that you need to know uh, from inside of Shopify platform. Uh, first thing that you need to do is to find the link in the description panel of this video and using that link you'll be uh, able to get to Shopify and then you need to press the start a free trial. It's 14 days and it's absolutely enough to take care about all the things that you need to take care of. Uh, and uh, first of all, you need to pass the registration. It's absolutely simple, uh, simple and easy. And I will not show it to you. Uh, you just need to provide the platform with your email address, with a password, and create your store name. This can be a very interesting uh, point because your store name, uh, the platform will uh, will tell you that such store name is occupied and it's not available, and you need to create a new one. Uh, so all the good store, nice shop, uh, well store and so on, it's occupied for sure and you need to create something um, more interesting and more specific. Uh, so guys, I will not waste your time, I'll try to make this video as short as possible, so we jump in straight to inside of the platform. That how the platform looks from inside. Uh, and you have home orders, products, customers, analytics, marketing, discounts, and apps, and online store itself. So there's uh, three small steps that you need to make to start to launch your business. Now, this is absolutely new account, clear account. You, you see that I have eight days left in my trial. Um, you need to add a product, customize theme, and add a domain. And that's what you actually need to do to launch your business and of course you need to select a plan let's uh, find out what are those those are $29 per month and uh, transaction fee is different so you need to consider that information transaction fee here is 2% in this more uh, expensive plan is 1% and in pro is 0.5% uh, of course different different locations different staff accounts and so on so you need to choose which one is suitable for you which one is suitable for your business and definitely uh it's better to use 29 dollars per month if you're just newcomer and if you are just interested in how to start 29 dollars per month it's okay but first you need to start a trial and uh, while you have your trial period you can set up all the things uh, and it's pretty enough time believe me I will not set up this uh, this online shop right now just to show you this this account was created just to show you what are the processes inside of the platform. Uh, if you have no information about how to how to get started, of course you can use uh, all those educational materials that the platform provides you with and uh, you'll know a lot about that because platform interested in more sales interested in more uh, people who are selling on the platform and that's why um, they can provide you with an all information that you need actually uh, and all the marketing materials and all the things so add a product customize theme and add a domain but first let's uh, discover all those pages home is this page that you see right now orders from this space you will manage all the orders that you'll have drafts and abandoned checkouts uh, so you need to first select a plan of course platform asks you to buy first uh, to be able to sell drafts manually create orders and invoices uh, and abandoned checkouts if somebody will leave your website with abandoned like checkouts you'll see all those here and you can manage them also you can work with them products this is the spot where you can add and remove products and manage all your inventory for uh, for good transfers collections and gift cards all those uh, you can manage from the products 
customers. Here's the button where you can manage all the information about your customers and their purchase history. For example, somebody will buy not once, but twice or, or three times or four and so on and so on. You'll see all those people right here. Analytics. This is very important as it's pretty enough. Now it's pretty enough here to to be able to run your business more efficiently. Reports and so on. Live view. Uh, marketing. The marketing is one of the most important parts of your business. You can uh, have work in business, but if you don't have a marketing, nothing will happen for sure. So you need to invest your money in the marketing campaigns and you can create campaigns straight from here. Uh, if you don't know how to manage all those, you can learn more about marketing straight from the platform. There's plenty, plenty of information right here, you see. And marketing apps. Guys, this is huge, really. If you have an infrastructure of your website, you have a couple products to sell, definitely it's better to use uh, more uh, applications. And for example, SMS bump marketing and automation. It's a cool feature, cool stuff. You can um, use the text marketing. You can send an SMS to your to your audience to remind them abandoned checkouts, for example, or, or to remind them that you have new products and you have new items, you have new collections and so on and so on. And definitely uh, it can be more efficient. The sales can be more efficient if you will use uh, extra marketing apps, because when you have the infrastructure of your uh, website, then when you're going to add some new and like email marketing, yeah, uh, Snapchat ads, grow your business with shoppable ads on Snapchat. Yeah, isn't that cool? Uh, so all the marketing campaigns, uh, all the overview of the campaigns and all the automation that will um, let you sleep until your online shop is working. And that's cool. Discounts. You're, you can manage all the coupons and discounts. Applications. That's what I told you about just a second ago. And let's jump to online store. That's what you uh, waited for. You see that online store is password protected. That's because we didn't bought yet an account uh, and a plan. And when you see online store speed, current theme, uh, to disable password, it's all in preferences, your password, you need to pick a plan. Okay, so you need to set up all the things first. And uh, as we already in the preferences, let's talk about them. Title and meta description of your site. Uh, it's very important SEO is very important search engines, you need to optimize your site, definitely you need to uh, describe your business with a title and meta description. Uh, you see 320 characters right here. If you want to share your link, uh, you need to take care about the sharing image preview. And the page title and description will be uh, taken from here. Google Analytics, if you want to use analytics, extra analytics except the analytics that you see the here in the platform you need to uh, pass the code from google here facebook pixel also um, if you don't know what is that facebook pixel is a great app that ensures um that gives you the opportunity to check who who are those people from facebook uh, who was jump into your site and maybe they left uh, or maybe well facebook pixel learn more about facebook pixel because that's great tool customer privacy okay limit tracking limit third party sale password protection i told you already about that and spam protection so let's jump to themes uh definitely you need your website be like a pro all right. Uh, and I suggest you not to use the default theme that everybody use this theme. And um, for a lot of people, it's absolutely clear that you're a newcomer. Um, that's why I suggest you to use the themes that are pre built and there are free themes uh, here in the theme library. You can explore them uh, or you can use the Shopify theme store to buy some if you have opportunity to buy. But in general, all the editing features are pretty the same. 
that's why I'm jumping to customize all the themes and I will show you what can you do. Now it's not similar to other website building platforms because in those platforms if you're familiar with them uh, you know that all happening with the drag and drop features and you can move things around the, uh, the display and so on here it's mm, as for me it's pretty classical you know uh, and uh, you have all the structure all the structures the same like header footer and the content blocks the sections um, and you can move those sections around using this uh, six dots like button you see you can move them around and uh, you can add more sections from here there are tons of them interesting one and for example you you, you can apply the video uh, you can add map to your maybe you have a physical store somewhere uh, and you can add this store uh, via map to here in blog post and custom content and so on uh, well you have a lot of things to play with first of all you need to understand that any landing page or web page or selling page contains mm, a lot of information okay and this information are like text images videos and interactive elements you know, like buttons and and so on uh, how to manage things from inside for example image text mm, as i told you you can't edit the text with a double click as in other uh, website building platforms but everything is happening with this left hand menu and all the settings all the things that you can make you can make right from this uh, spot like section height for example yeah you can make it extra small large or uh, extra large but let's explore the free images if you don't have your own content you can use um, this library and free images and like uh, there's tons of them available here and uh, definitely I like this coffee beans definitely it's uh, it's better to use your own content yeah but if you have no opportunity to make that uh, content by yourself uh, or to order the photographer for example yeah definitely it's it's cool that you have free images and you can set up your store like in a day for example if you have um if you have a text if you have an idea of your business um then you can find an images here from free uh, and absolutely for free and you can use those mm, how to remove sections for example here in this spot you can only move this sections and uh, what if I don't need testimonials I'm jumping in side of that section and you see you can make it invisible or hide uh, and you can remove section I want to remove section and everything is reorder and that's cool uh, you see that image with text left right yeah all the things you can change here gallery featured collections all your products will be available here but how to add the products itself let's jump out from the editor because actually you'll figure out how it works and we're gonna go to products and add a product it also uh, has unusual uh, unusual shape but it's very and very convenient when you have a lot of things to sell and there's a title description I told you already about the SEO search engine optimization and definitely you need to uh, use all those titles and descriptions to take care about uh, visibility of your site for social uh, search engines uh, some of people adding images and videos here uh, in the description but I suggest you to use the media spot uh, and you can add drop files to upload pricing what's the currency I don't know for example you're selling something about 150 and you compare it to price a lot of people using like 1000 no it's it, it, it will be crossed uh, it's not true so for example uh, 225 yeah uh, compared to price 
you can charge tax on this product or you can uh, leave it alone. But if you're in US, you probably may, uh, may do that. If you make any drop shipping and you know the cost per item is less than 150, for example, you're buying for 100, you see the margin and you see the profit for selling one, one item and so on and so on. You can use all those things uh, to describe your um, your items that you're selling with the tags. You can add it to collections. You can make a vendor. You can product type and, and so on. There's a lot of things. And um, when it's going to be ready, it takes time to take care about all of things. When you're going to be ready, uh, you need to select a plan, of course, to start selling because um, you will not be able to do that before you'll get a plan because your website will be um, password restricted and that's it. Uh, I showed you all the core things that you need to know. I showed you all the things from inside of the platform and uh, it's up to you to describe. Nobody will describe your business better than you. So um, take your time, be wise, take care about all the things in Shopify and buy your first Shopify plan, start selling, run your marketing campaigns, uh, manage all the sales and uh, be happy. What I wanted to say, I wish you big profits. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was useful. I wish you good luck in all your businesses. And uh, if you're a real entrepreneur, you'll get this for sure. Thank you so much. Have a great day. See you in the next video and bye bye.